welcome back again. This time we're going to be introducing the CNR Fort Langley Station, a craftsman kit for my friends at Interaction Enterprises. And here's what it looks like. This is what comes with the package. Has a really nice picture. It's a wonderful little kit. This particular one is in scale. You can get them also for HO. And this stuff is made out of a highly dense pressed paper. This is a paper house that's going to go together. One of my personal favorites is they have lots of actual blueprint type drawings and a whole ton of information. A great big long list of directions but keep in mind that this is a craftsman's kit which means a lot of the stuff is up to you. Here we are all set up ready to go. I use a number of different means of coloring. Of course a lot of the stuff I use my weathering powders. This pressed paper takes it very well. I also use colored pens. In this case it's an Office Depot marker pen and the paper takes the color really well. And of course rounding things out let's add a little paint. I suggest you always try some paint or stain on a bit of extra to see how it goes. And while I'm at it let's go ahead and color the chimneys and these marking pens are really flexible. You got about a zillion different colors. Now even though I painted some of the building I wanted to add some weathering to it so I used my white weathering powder and I never try to salvage any of the weathering powder that's white. I just use it one time. And certainly to round everything out let's use some weathering mix. And uh, here you see me using some more of the marking pins. And then after I get the basic color I go through and I add some gray with my weathering powders. Moving right along you want to be really careful cutting these parts out. Remember that it is only paper. So take your time. Now these windows and doors are really finely made. A good craftsman kit. All the pieces are real thin and fragile. So make sure you take your time and don't break them. And there's never enough handy helpers. One of the things the instruction recommended is backing for the walls because they're so flimsy. As far as handy helpers I got all kinds of stuff to hold stuff in place. You can never have too many handy helpers to hold things while the glue sets up. I have all kinds of things like weights and rubber bands and clips and all kinds of stuff. And before long you have a whole pile of finished sub assemblies. I always like to put the windows and doors in first before I put the walls together. Just makes it easier, keeps them flat. Now if you're going to make a series of repetitive cuts there is nothing better than the chopper or the chopper 2 from the Northwest Short Line folks. Now as you're putting these parts together make sure everything is nice and square and plumb. If you don't get them exactly correct it won't go together right. And there's a million zillion tabs on these parts. I must admit that sometimes I cut some of the tabs off because there's well it's hard to get all the tabs in lined up correctly. If you're going to add lights now's the time to do it before you put the floor and the roof on. Make sure that the light intensity is real low inside because you don't want it to look like a Christmas tree ornament lighting up inside. And there's lots of little tidbits that need to be attended to at this time and the more carefully you do all the extra little stuff the better the kit will go together. All right, the next step is adding the trim and the trim is tiny on this in scale building. You want to make sure to wear your glasses and wear your magnifiers because that's the only way you'll get them in the right place. And then usually I found on the corners especially I had to do a little touch up, add a little bit more color. Next step, the way that I took it anyway, is I was adding on the overhangs. And the main top roof is kind of a bugger. It's a four part that you really have to play with to get it to fit in the right direction. Next thing you do, well next thing I did was to add the base, the foundation of the building. And you want to make sure that you make sure it glues on nice and flat and straight so the building sits flat. I did make a mistake when I put the roof on. I glued an area where the roofing, the final roofing has to go under. So I had to cut out the glue that I had in there. Pretty much every one of the models I have to do at once. And here you can see I'm putting on the main roofing. It comes with very nice roofing and as long as you're careful and put it on straight it's cool. Now you have the overhang supports and these are tiny little things. Be real careful cutting them out and be real careful in the way you're putting them in. 
all these extra little stuff really makes it look like a craftsman kit and here you can see we're moving right along it almost looks like something now with these craftsman kits you gotta take your time and do all the little things like these extra covers where the roofing goes together the strips that go down and they're tiny they're a bugger to get in place but hey if you don't put all the extra little place things in place it's just not going to be the same it's time to start adding on the big sub assemblies like the front deck make sure that everything's square and oh I almost forgot to put on the back deck the back deck with the little tiny stairs on it you see so make sure everything fits in place and make sure everything glues in nicely and here you have the just about finished model look at that came out great this kit from the interactionhobbies.com group is a wonderful little addition to my train world and remember that this is paper look at how cool it comes out as paper this took me about oh four or five hours and of course don't forget to add on all the extras after you have the house built well in this case the station built I always love putting on the extras and here you have it you have the CNR Fort Langley train station all ready to go you got people waiting to get picked up by the train and the nice folks at the interaction enterprises company really does a great job putting together these craftsman kits go and have a look at their website I'm sure there's something there you'll want